when you first start using SQL Monitor, there's a lot of information and it can seem overwhelming. But in reality, it's pretty easy to navigate through. And we can take a look, and these are all our servers that we have under management. You can see which ones are online, which ones that have had errors, and all that fun stuff. And we can even pick a, a given server and drill down into it, and we get additional information, detailed information about that server. It's exactly what you would expect to see. CPU, disk I.O., memory and weights, and of course it's laid out in a fashion that you can get at it. And you can see the top queries and the top weights, and that's all good. We can also scroll down rather quickly to see things like blocking processes. And using the toolbar over on the left, we can take a look and see SQL Server processes, SQL User processes, if any. And we can take a look at the information about the availability group, um, which is pretty useful. And further, we can take a look at the processes running on the server itself. And then we can take a look at the error log. So we've got a whole series of things that we can look at. And then finally, down at the bottom, are the databases under management inside that server. Cool. That's all great stuff. But there's actually more that's not immediately apparent here. So let's say, for example, we wanted to see more detail on the SQL Server Central database. Well, we can actually click on that database, and then it drills into the database and shows us more information. So we get a detailed sparkline on data size, log space used, um, flushes, transactions, all really useful stuff, but it gets more. We've got a whole bunch of properties about the database itself. What's the recovery model, the collation, the compatibility level, and then information about the backups of that database. Further, there's information about the files, and if there were any long-running queries or, or highly uh, resource-using queries for that given database, they would also be listed down here. So there's actually a ton of information, not immediately apparent, maybe just a little bit hidden, but there's more to it. And we can simply scroll up and pick another database and take a look at it as well. So if, like, like, we can take a look at Database Weekly and see the information about that. Different set of transactions, different log backup schedules, you know, um, same compatibility level. Um, all the interesting information is all still here. And so we can drill down and take more direct control and get more direct knowledge of our databases on top of all of the other data that we give you to manage your databases and, and servers better, you've actually got really granular detailed information about any given database. That's all I wanted to share with you today. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.